Hey guys and welcome to my video. Today we're going to be looking at the Seagate 5 terabyte external hard drive. So this, uh, I've got mixed mixed thoughts to be honest on this drive. Um, it's a great unit, but it's not very quick. They seem to advertise these units as being USB 3, therefore they're nice and fast. But the actual real world speed, um, well at least what I achieved anyway, um, is nowhere near what you'd expect. The read speed is advertised at 180 meg and the write speed was 140. I was lucky I even got 30 out of it. Um, and that was coming through a H61 chipset. Um, so I was quite surprised at that. I mean this, the spec of the drive is, is quite good. Um, it's got five platters, um, all of a terabyte each. It uses a new technology, um, it's called like a shingle technology, uh, which basically like kind of overlaps your data. And I'm suspecting that's why the the, um, the speed of the drive is a lot slower because of the, you know, the calculations that are going on. Um, it's got 64 megs of cache. Um, it spins at 7200, um, which is quite good. Um, considering the Western Digital Green Drive, they spin at 50, 50, 5400. So it spins, it spins quite well, yet the write speed is just not there, which is a bit surprising. Um, Power-wise, it uses 6 watts when it's idling, and it uses 9 watts when it's active. Um, it comes pre-formatted with NTFS, so you just plug it in and go. Um, so it's good from that. Here in the UK, it retails for about £120, and you can pick it up from most retail stores, uh, including Argos which is quite kind of handy because if you have a drive fairly you need to go get a drive pretty quickly um, you can just pop down to Argos and pick one up um, you don't need to order one online and get it sort of two days later so that's that's um, kind of good as well um, it comes bundled with some software um, which uh, allows you to back up your Android phone um, and that just backs up over the Wi-Fi so it's kind of handy for that um, the software doesn't allow you to back up your PC though in its entirety. There is some tools on there that lets you back up your documents, uh, pictures, music, you know, things like that. Um, but if you want to image a laptop or a PC or something like that, you can't you can't use the software to do that. Your best bet is to use a third party application like a Cronus um, that'll actually image your machine properly. So, um, all in all, that's it really. Um, we'll just quickly go through an unboxing and then we'll look at the performance of the drive. So let's see what we get in the box. So here we have the unit. And as we can see, it is the 5 terabyte USB 3 model. And on the back you've got various languages um, and just basically explains that it's add-on storage so yeah thanks for telling us that in the obvious fact so inside we have the power supply unit um, this particular unit is a wall powered um, drive it doesn't power from your USB so here's the casing which is made out of a, like a polycarbonate material so it's very strong very sturdy and we've got the Seagate branding there We've got plenty of cooling underneath, um, so the drive never gets hot. And you've also got some rubber feet there. It uses a standardized USB 3 um, cable. So if you damage your cable, you can quite easily get a replacement. So in the box here, I'm going to eventually get it open. We have a standard USB cable, as we can see here. and the other end which is blue which indicates that they are USB 3 and here's your universal power adapter so this is the part we'll be using here in the UK um, so you just slide the cover off and then slide on your UK adapter there it is actually very difficult to get it in there uh, it took me several attempts But it also comes with the European part as well. So performance-wise, um, 
just transferring a sort of a couple of gigs worth of data um, I've speeded this up here um, as you can see we're not we're not sort of getting over 20 meg there it's sort of 18 19 meg um, which to be honest was quite poor and as we can see transferring 225 gigs of data is going to take about four hours so just take into account that when you're transferring your files so thanks for watching if you like my video give me a thumbs up uh, subscribe if you want to see more content and thanks for watching